everyone. It's Tex here, and I am driving west, go heading back to the Grand Canyon where I work as a mule wrangler. And since I'm driving over a little later this season, I took advantage of the opportunity to drive a northerly route through Colorado, and I'm really excited about that because I get to see the Rocky Mountain National Park for the first time ever. Right now we're about two hours out, getting closer, and I'm getting my very first views of those beautiful Rocky Mountains on the horizon there through this unfortunately bug infested windshield. <laughs> I'll have only about two days at the park. I'll have one afternoon, one full day in the middle, and then a couple hours the next morning. They have a scenic drive in that park called Trail Ridge Road, and it is the highest elevation scenic drive in any of the national parks and it tops out at about 14,000 feet and they got some recent snowfall they could not clear that road by memorial day like they usually do so it closes at rainbow curve so i won't get to see the west side of the park i was a little disappointed to hear that but i will get to see as much as i possibly can so if you've never been to Rocky Mountains either, you might want to tag along and check it out. They've got the timed entry system right now. So short lines and a beautiful view while you wait. We got a campsite at Glacier Basin and this is it. Look at that. Ooh, beautiful. Campsites are very close together. I mean, but how beautiful. Hello, little doggy. How's your day going? Do you like this place? Hi. We drove up Trail Ridge Road to as far as they would let us. This is where the roads closed. A lot of snow from here on up apparently that they're gonna have cleared soon so they can open the whole thing. So I asked if there was a spot where I might be able to see a bear. They said, lady, there's only 20 to 30 bears in the park. So probably no. Asked where I could see moose. I still haven't seen a moose. And that's Sheep's Lakes down there. That's one of the two lakes. That's a good possibility. Well, I don't know how good of a possibility, but like one of the better options. The other one is Sprague Lake, so we're going to check both of them out. Here you can see part of the road going back downhill. This is the view from Mini Parks Curve. A mini snow rainbow. And elk. Almost sapiens. There's a little magpie. This is Moraine Park, which is recommended for some wildlife viewing. And lo and behold, we got some elk. Hey, turkey. morning. It's the start of our first full day and we're starting off by doing a very short hike to Alberta Falls. And it's still a little snow packed here and even though we brought micro spikes we totally forgot to bring them with us today. <laughs> Great. Are you a cute little baby bunny? 
You still got your white winter fur boots on. <laughs> You're so cute. Oh, you want a little breakfast? Now we're going to do the half mile hike that goes around the perimeter of the lake. Oh, the sky is like the most beautiful thing. Oh, my tugs really have to get out of the rock. What do wranglers do when we go on vacation? We go yes. on horse rides at other national parks. Who we got today? We got Hudson. Where are you guys coming out from? And who's this? This is Yosemite. Oh, so hey. He's actually, well, they say. And rough. This is Yosemite. So far, so good. Getting a good boy. All right, buddy. Hello there. They're done for the day and happy little horsies. Having a snack. Let's see what's in the visitor center. Bathrooms for going. This is weird. Do you need help? What even is that? And provides an opportunity to restore our connections with the natural world. Each person gains the good tidings of these mountains and discovers a personal perspective different from their everyday life. This is the Stanley Hotel in Estes Park, outside the park. It was built in 1909 and is supposedly haunted, but aren't all old hotels. I've never seen a moose in my life until this day. Those are two glorious moose out there.
that's it for our short visit to Rocky Mountains National Park. We had a ton of fun, but we'll definitely be back because we did not get to see it all. Thanks for joining us.